Mr. Chairman, a little more than two years ago, uh, an Environmental Protection Agency team was investigating a contamination at the Gold King Mine caused a spill of three million gallons of wastewater impacting New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, the Southern Ute Reservation, and the Navajo Nation. I was in Farmington, New Mexico in the Four Corners area when the toxic plume turned the Animas River yellow. I met with the community and I heard their concerns about the toll that the spill was taking on businesses, farmers, families, and individuals. I attended different community meetings, not only in southern Colorado, but in that northwestern part of New Mexico. Despite repeated promises by the EPA that it would fully address this environmental disaster, progress has too often been needlessly slow. For example, in January of this year, the EPA and the Department of Justice announced a deeply disappointing decision that the EPA was not liable under the Federal Torts Claim Act for damages caused by the Gold King mine spill. And while I appreciate Minister Pruitt's recent announcement that the EPA was reconsidering this misguided position, I believe that the EPA and the Congress should act to ensure that every impacted individual and community, especially New Mexicans and the Navajo Nation, receive the compensation they deserve. The state of New Mexico and the Navajo Nation should not have to sue the federal government to ensure that the government meets its moral obligation to the farmers, small business owners, and others injured by this spill. This amendment, however, is about the long-term impact this bill will have on the river and all that it sustains from drinking water to providing water for farming and livestock. Robust long-term water quality monitoring is essential to ensuring that communities along the Animas River have the data they need to protect the health of all those who rely on this water. And the state of New Mexico has developed a robust and independent monitoring plan that deserves the EPA support. That's why I'm again offering an amendment to provide $6 million to direct the EPA to work with the affected states and Indian tribes to support long-term monitoring programs for water quality on the Animas and San Juan rivers in response to the Gold King mine spill. The same amendment was accepted by the House last year on a bipartisan basis. I thank both the Chairman and the Ranking Member for their work on this issue and because monitoring now and well into the future is necessary to protect the health of all those who rely on this water, I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. 